everyone, I hope you're all doing so well and welcome to this little oil painting and chill session. Also, Merry Christmas. I hope you're all having a wonderful week, a Christmas week. And my channel shout out this week goes to Jasmine Cartoon Drawing. Please check out her channel. I will leave a link below. If you would like to be featured in my weekly channel shout out, just leave me a comment, subscribe and press the bell. The painting time lapse of this painting entitled The Serious Hair is at the end of this video. Now I have a confession to make about this painting uh, and that is that it was a disaster. Uh, I normally, I'm quite uh, sneaky this way and I will tell you the truth, that I'm normally quite strict about if my paintings are a disaster, they don't turn out how I want or I just don't like the look of them, I don't upload them on any social media. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I look at other artists' Instagrams, particularly Instagram, I find that their art is absolutely perfect. They have all incredible paintings. There's no like completely rubbish one on there, <laughs> or that they will say this was really rubbish. And so I've always stuck with the thing that I must upload the absolute best that I can do. And so if a painting has gone really badly wrong in the way that this one did, I never upload it and I never show it to people. I will hide it. In fact, this painting was hidden behind a number of other paintings because I just couldn't bear to look at it. Uh, but I've kind of come to terms with it in a way because I feel that you have to keep, um, well actually mainly just to make this video. <laughs> the reason that I'm uploading this is not because I think I'm amazingly brave for showing my rubbish artwork. <laughs> it's just that I don't have a video for this week apart from this one, apart from this time lapse. I have started uh, a new painting and actually that painting is looking really good at least as far as I can tell and but I just haven't finished it it's quite big at least for me anyway it's probably about 12 by 16 I think so I can't upload that one yet but that's coming up next week so why is this painting a disaster well several reasons you may be thinking but it's just as bad as all your other work <laughs> I hope not but anyway uh, well one of the reasons the main reason is this panel was lying around for a really long time in my cupboard and I avoided using it purely because it's one of those panels that is super super incredibly absorbent and some panels are absorbent and they're still really easy to use an example is the Jessa boards by ampersand which I adore and uh, but however these ones are just even more absorbent I mean the paint will literally get the oil will literally get sucked in and what can happen when a surface is super absorbent is uh, the colors immediately dull I mean the, the moment you start putting them down not after they've dried but literally when you're working on it it will start to dull and also the colors tend to dry really really matte and I like a really glossy uh, luminous finish to my oil paintings and the third issue is that the paint tends to drag across the board so I could cope with the first two issues because uh, if the paint if the panel was easy to work on but unfortunately because of this uh, absorbency it actually is solve this problem is you could add a primer on your panel to start with you could add a gesso and you could also add some oil so this is what I did before I started painting on this. I added some walnut oil, which was a bit of a mistake because walnut oil is not really thick enough because this panel is so absorbent. I should have used a thicker oil. So walnut, walnut oil is extremely fluid. And so it really made, it made almost no difference to the uh, experience of painting on this and to the absorbency, I feel. The second reason why I think this painting is a bit of a disaster is I don't love the composition. If you can see the hair, its face is quite long and there's not really much um, indentation in the face. And I find that with hairs, they've got sort of like really interesting angular, not even angular, round sort of lumps on their face. Is that a good description? No, but anyway, you know what I mean? They have sort of lumpy long faces and this face is not lumpy enough, I feel. It's just long. So I wasn't too keen on the way it came out. But I, you know, there is it's still quite quirky. I mean, I don't mind it that much. And I think that if it had been on a panel that I liked the feel of, and I prepped it properly, I do actually adore these panels, but I just didn't prep it properly. But if I'd done my job right, uh, I think I would actually like this painting. It would have come out completely different. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yes, uh, and, and you can fix this uh, pro 
problem if you have a very kind of flat, dull looking painting at the end of your work by oiling out. Just quickly explain oiling out. I was going to do a demo of it, but as usual, this painting is not dry yet, so I can't do it. You have to wait until your painting is dry before you oil out. So what happens is, sorry, what you do is you wait until your painting is dry, then you get a rag, let's just pretend this is a rag, and you put some oil on it and then you basically just go like this, this circular motion all over your panel. And you just want to deposit like a sort of thin layer of oil. And then once it's dried, then you can start painting on top of it. And so that's a really great way to, you know, make the colours look more uniform, get rid of that sort of sunken in, matte look. And just be aware though that you shouldn't soak rags in any kind of oil or medium or anything like that. You can use medium as well to oil out because they can catch fire. The rags I mean, not the medium, I think. I hope you enjoyed this little video about my disastrous painting experience. Let me know if you guys have had a disastrous painting experience too. I hope not, but you know, there are times when it doesn't always go well and you just have to accept the sad reality. And I will see you in the speed paint that's happening now if you're interested and also uh, Merry Christmas again and a Happy New Year and I will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Take care guys! The story behind this painting is on Instagram and I thought I'd chat about Christmas since it is Christmas. I hope you are having a great time. I am having the weirdest Christmas week ever because first of all I wouldn't normally upload any videos during Christmas time or even on Christmas day because I'm normally so busy. I have a huge family, I'm incredibly lucky and so I spend most of my time with my family lots of the family will have parties or will have a party and so we we spend time cooking and celebrating and just like basically everyone and unfortunately because of all the corona madness uh, my Christmas has been completely downsized much like everyone as well and I feel you if you are alone at Christmas luckily I'm not but I really uh, my heart goes out to you because obviously being alone at Christmas time is really, really hard and I hope that uh, people are able to get out within their support bubbles and meet people, at least a couple of people, because it is really difficult at this time. And it's also freezing here, like the weather has completely dropped and I've been going for walks and my face has been freezing. But uh, apart from that, it's going to be quite um, an interesting time because I am actually going to be working probably, I'll probably be painting and this is because unlike most years, I don't, uh, unlike every year, I don't have uh, tons of things to do. I do uh, have to cook though, unfortunately, <laughs> which is always interesting. I'm not the best cook, as I mentioned many times before, but I will be cooking a heck of a lot uh, just because it's Christmas and, you know, you've got to have all your Christmas food. Uh, so that will be nice and it will be interesting and hopefully I can catch up on things that work and try and think of uh, some future videos. I'm going to try and see if I can film and yeah just have a little mini celebration but nothing fancy or amazing like it would be ordinarily. So it's going to be very unusual and I suppose it will be a uh, intriguing time. So I do hope you like this painting. It was a disaster but uh, certain parts of it I do like and I think close up it doesn't look as bad. Funnily enough if you put it in sunlight, which I just did, uh, it actually looks quite nice so maybe within a frame it might um, come to life. So thanks guys and I'll see you next week. Take care.